But just before we start, I'm actually happy to introduce uh, uh, Professor Moshe Tzviran. He's the dean of the school, the management school. Um, and he's here to introduce the school, introduce the competition. And then we'll take the time to talk about the actual components of the competition, who's eligible to get into the competition, uh, what the prizes are, the date, submission, and so forth. Okay, so I'm happy to start. And Moshe, the floor is yours. Hi, good evening. Uh, when I was hesitating whether to do it in English or Hebrew, well, she gave me the sign. So uh, I'm going to do it in English, and whoever needs it in, in Hebrew, I'll be outside and I'll translate it later. Uh, my name is Moshe Tzviran. I'm the Dean of the School of Management here at Tel Aviv University. Uh, how many of you are students now at Tel Aviv University? Anyone alums? Alumni? Okay. Uh, the uh, school is one of nine what we call in Hebrew faculties or nine uh, major schools at the campus. Uh, we are, I don't know whether you know it, but we are kind of basically distributed between east and west where the East is composed of engineering, exact sciences, life sciences, and uh, the medical school. And here we are the, the uh, social sciences, liberal arts, law, uh, arts, and the school of management. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, now, uh, a few words about the school who we are, why we are here, and then uh, Iris is going to handle it from this point on. Uh, the school has the full uh, uh, array of degrees from undergrads, BA, to graduate students who are the majority of our uh, body of students, and the PhD program. Uh, we have about uh, uh, 2,800 uh, students every year uh, in all of our programs. Most of them are graduate students in our MBA and MSc programs. And basically, the school celebrated uh, 50 years last May, when the university celebrated 60 years. So uh, it, the school was inaugurated about a decade after the university started its operation in, in Tel Aviv. Why am I telling you uh, all this? Because uh, first of all, I want you to come to study here in your, in your master's. But this is not the real case. Uh, once we talk about the school, uh, about 10 years ago, uh, we tried to, I, I then became vice dean, and with the former dean, we tried to strategize who we are and what we are going to do in order to excel in the world. And the idea was, what can we do better than the others? So I can tell you what we cannot. Uh, we, we will definitely not beat Harvard in strategy. They are the best in the world. We will not beat uh, Wharton at the University of Pennsylvania in finance or, uh, or, or Kellogg in marketing. So where can we excel? And you know, the, basically the solution was right under the, the uh, light, which is let's focus on entrepreneurship and innovation. And indeed, we started, in addition to all of our regular programs, to focus not on growing new entrepreneurs. Uh, my belief is that if you, were, if you were born an entrepreneur, you are an entrepreneur. If you were not, God forbid, you'll never become an entrepreneur. You need to have the right genes in order to do it. However, most of the startups, I understand all of you want to raise your own startups, most of the startups fail due to lack of management, not because these are bad ideas or bad people. When it gets to the management level, many, if not most of them, fail, and I'm, I don't want to discourage you, but the failure rate is more than 95%. So this is not the best survival rate, and our, you know, our goal is to try and elevate the 5 to percent of success to about 10 or more, not 90. If we make the 5 to 10, is going to be, um, to be a major change in this country as well as in the world. So how are we, how we doing it? Basically, we are trying to teach not entrepreneurship, but rather the management of technology, entrepreneurship, and innovation, how to manage it either in your own startup or even in larger companies such as Amdocs and Checkpoint and uh, other uh, technology and or pharma and or any other company. About a year ago, after quite a long negotiations, uh, the school received a, I, I call it a transformational gift because it's a real, the biggest gift in the history of Tel Aviv University. We got $50 million from an a English guy called Jeremy Kohler. We are now the Kohler School of Management. And the idea was, his idea was that we are supposed to exercise his dream and make it come true. To be one of the, he says the best, and you know, I take it one level down, one of the best schools in the world in teaching management of entrepreneurship and innovation 
in his words, management of venture, whatever it is. But the idea is to make sure that this school grows the best managers of uh, ventures and new entrepreneurships. And along these lines, we have done already some steps towards this goal. We are not yet number one, but hopefully in five years we'll beat Stanford. You know. But, but general, you know, they're in the Silicon Valley, we're in the Silicon Valley, but we're doing well. <laughs> but, but generally speaking, we have a goal and we aspire to achieve it. And you know, if I'll be frank, despite the fact that I'm recorded, if everybody around the world will say Stanford and Tel Aviv, even in this order, I'll be satisfied. Uh, having said that, one of the components that he envisioned, and basically we are exercising his vision, is the color competition which is basically to grow startups, not just from the School of Management, but rather from Tel Aviv University, where we want to basically to foster entrepreneurs and make their dream hopefully come true. So this is the basic idea about this competition. Uh, it's called One Million Dollar Competition. By the way, the creative is theirs, call it capital. But we adopted it, and the idea is very simple. I'm not stealing your show. OK, the idea is, where did it come from? The idea, Kola's idea was, listen, you need to challenge the students. The winning team, we were still wondering about the second and third prize. The winning team can select. Now we'll see you and your preferences. Either get a $5,000 cash prize or an investment of $100,000, seed money with a valuation of $1 million. OK, this is his idea. And, uh, you know, we basically embraced it immediately and said, and he said more than that, I want to be attached to success, which means that if this is a successful venture, I'll invest more for my money. And believe it or not, despite the fact that we're on the air, he's rich enough to sponsor it. So the idea is basically to get him closer to the startups, but honestly, to make sure that this is a successful event. Now, there is a whole array of activities to the winners, not just the winning team. Iris will, will tell you more about it, but the idea is it's the first round. We are 100%, I'm telling it up front, we are 100% sure that we are going to make some mistakes, but we are going to make sure that this is going to be a successful event, and it's open basically to all Tel Aviv University students as well as alums. Now, uh, Iris will say it, and I'll say it up front. What we say now is that it does need, not need to be composed of the entire group of students or alums. But at least one representative should come from Tel Aviv University, so they were well, pretty much like ways. Not all of the ways entrepreneurs are from here, but at least some of them. And the idea is to make sure that the success is related to Tel Aviv University. I said more than I wanted, and Iris, the show is yours. I wish you all success. Uh, I basically decided I'm not going to be a judge, but I'm going to be a kind of a side referee. I'm going to follow this competition. I have no clue who in this class is going to be the winner. Hopefully somebody here. And, uh, but you know, it's not just the winning, it's the experience. So good luck to all of you. And Iris, the floor is yours. I actually start, let me start with asking you some questions. How many people here see most of your students? How many study uh, exact sciences? Um, life sciences, it's not the same. Uh, computer science? Uh, okay, so we've got lots of other people. How many study in this school? Management, economics, that's what I thought. And there are some others. Could you raise your hand and tell me who you are? Like, what do you study? Arts and the cinema school. Cinema school. Okay. And I'm doing a PhD in um, education or computer science. It's like I'm still searching the area. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, you have like five years to find, right? Yeah, so we Okay. Um, yes? Um, I'm from the Porter School of Environmental. The Porter School of Environmental. Okay. Yeah? I studied law in the school. You studied law? Okay, how many lawyers are or kind of, yeah, yeah, you're always quiet, but we know how to find you, okay? Um, okay, so what I want to do now, I, I present myself, okay, so I'm Dr. Uri Ginsberg. I'm the head of two MBA programs here at the school, both focus on innovation and entrepreneurship. I see some of my students and graduates actually here as well. Very happy, very delighted to see you. Um, why am I asking all these questions? First, just to get a feel for who the group is. It's going to also touch on the competition. Um, my PhD is in physics, okay, so I actually grew up in some place more serious than this school and somehow gradually I migrated to coming here. Uh, the Israeli MBA program, now we are recruiting the eighth cohort of the program, okay, so it's been there for quite a while. 
I think it's fairly solid now. We keep doing new things. Um, we have an international MBA program. Just as you know, it's in English. It's a one-year program. Uh, most people come from abroad. Um, and it is about, from the last two years, it also focuses on innovation and entrepreneurship. So part of that, um, I also sort of took the, the lead on the competition. And I want to share with you what we're talking about, what we need for the competition, how does it work, and you're welcome to ask questions. And in the end of the session, I'm going to also give some time for you to maybe get to know each other, because there might be some teams here who are looking for people, and might be some people without teams. Okay, so that's the program. Um, so first of all, okay, uh, we want the competition to be somewhat connected to the university. So the rule is very, very simple. It's actually fairly flexible. You need to be either in the teams. Okay, so think about the competition. First of all, it's possible to apply as an individual, just one person. I think you want to be teams. Okay, so now I'm talking about you as if you're already part of a team. So at least one of the team, one of the members of the team needs to be either a, a current student of the university or a recent alum of the university, okay? So this would make you somewhat connected to this institution. Make sense? Very simple, yeah. Um, the other thing is uh, we want you to come with things that are more than just ideas, okay? Now, we all know the game, or maybe you don't, but you will learn the game. I could have an idea, and it would take me like two days, and I can create something that looks like a mock-up or whatever. By the way, you know what mock-up is? Someone doesn't know what mock-up, who doesn't know what it is? Okay, so uh, mock-up is you do something as if it's the real thing, but it's not really the real thing, okay? Uh, there's a lingo to entrepreneurship that I think if you want to be part of the competition, you will become part of that as well. Uh, but anyway, you want to have already something that's a bit more baked than an idea that you thought about it last night, okay? So we want to see an evidence of that, and these are ways to basically see evidence. By the way, everything I'm saying, everything that's written here is also on our website. So you don't have to take notes or anything. Um, we don't want it to be too advanced, okay? We had discussions about that. Who is the audience of the competition? So it's possible that maybe you have some external funding. We don't want it to exceed $25,000, okay? So this is kind of the range where we're aiming at, okay? When I say we, it's like we, when we constructed the competition, it's also we, the judges of the competition. All right, so this is sort of less what we want. And, that's the, the, and what I'm saying is, I mean, there's a logic behind that, okay? So if you raise $26,000, maybe you can still apply, okay? Because the logic to say you're not too big, but basically, this is what we're looking for. Um, and I'll, I'll, take ans I'll take questions in a few more minutes, okay? Um, the price of the competition, so Moshe basically talked about the first prize. This is the first prize, basically. I'll talk about selection criteria in a second, okay? But the first prize, you gotta choose between $5,000 or an investment. Um, and yeah, you would take whatever you want. Uh, you also get some books. Uh, we're thinking whether or not you also get maybe a card to Amazon or something, so we're, this is kind of still debating. Uh, by the way, what Moshe meant to say, I think, um, it's the first time you're running the competition. So you'll be the first cohort. That'll be something that we run every year. So yeah, it's the first time. So I think my students and, alum and alumni, they know. First time, there will be some mistakes, okay? But I think we're going to do a good job on that. It's getting, by the way, a lot of attention. A lot of attention from the school. Uh, when I say attention, it means people are thinking about that. We have judges. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of effort around that. Um, okay, so that's the first prize. Um, four teams would get the second prize. Uh, okay, I'll go one step, um, um, one step before. Uh, we will get applications, okay? I'm going to say something about the applications, and the judges will have to choose. Now, we will choose five teams to actually come and make their presentation in front of the final panel of judges, and that's going to happen on the 16th of May. The, the final panel, so if you're not in Israel, maybe you don't want to apply. Uh, there'll also be five teams that could present like posters, okay? So they will not be on stage, but they will also get a lot of attention. And the prizes, so there's one first prize. We have four second prizes, okay? When this is what they are. Uh, I'll just say it, okay? Uh, basically, they get the same books and they get $5,000 in paid mentoring, okay? So we will make sure that they get mentoring and it's kind of costing us money, okay, not you. 
And there's a third prize, and that would go to the those teams who don't get to make the uh, 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 who don't actually make don't get to make the frontal presentation, and they will get the books. Okay, so these are the prizes for the competition. By the way, what all teams do get in addition to this is, which is very important. I'm sorry. They get what experience? Yeah, they get some training and some experience. Yeah. I'm sorry. They get exposure, okay? So we actually do that for the exposure, um, which might be very useful depending on what your stage and what the startup concept is. So key dates, and everything is on the website, but you can also take a picture of that if you want. Yeah, you don't have to write anymore, right? You just take photos, but you know. Okay, so um, on March 27, we'll have a session, and that session is basically gonna be a coaching for how do you do a pitch. Okay, there's a lot to say about that, so there's going to be a session uh, for that that's going to be March 27. April 15, this is where submission ends, okay? So you can submit until April 15. I'll say in a minute what it is you actually have to submit. Um, then we basically take time and say we, the judges, okay, we take time to judge uh, all the applications and to choose. Uh, on May 1st, we announce the finalists, okay, 10 finalists, 5 going to be on stage. Five will present on posters. Um, May 10th is going to be a special session where teams are actually going to be coached, coached on pitching and maybe how to improve their value proposition or whatever we feel that every team is, you know, is, um, needs improvement. And on May 16th, we actually have the final. Okay, so this is the, how it works. Um, so applications, I'll be a bit more specific about that. So here you see the actual dates. Um, you will have to submit four things that are mandatory and everything is on the website, okay? You'll have to submit executive summary. Yes, you always have to do that, right? It's kind of a one-pager, two-pager. Uh, a pitch, basically a slide deck, uh, a pitch deck, okay? It's like six to 12 slides. You can go and find out on the web anything about that, okay? The standard one is the, is the one by, by Guy Kawasaki, okay? Go, he explains, he has, I think, 11 slides or whatever. He explains them very, very well. This is practical what you need. Um, we want an explainer video. In the video, we basically want, to, want you to take a minute or two and sort of talk about the team. We want to see who you are. Why do we want to see who you are in a video? Any guess? There's logic behind everything. And if not, then we have to take it out. Yeah. Okay, hint. We want your CVs, right? Why do we want your CVs? You have an amazing ideas and we don't get your CVs. What do we do with that? Nothing. Why do we do that nothing? Because the team is one of the most important things. Okay, you have an idea now. Imagine you actually raise some money, you start running with the idea, and that, that idea is going to change, I can assure you. Okay, you will not, in a year time, you will not be in the same place where you were when you started. Okay, so the team is very, very important. Uh, we want to have the explainer video. We want to get some impression of who you are, okay, not just by... Uh, reading, but also seeing who we are. You will also have to make a frontal presentation. I mean, the competition eventually is on how you pitch. So that would give us also a sense for your, your pitching ability. Okay, so these four things are mandatory. And then there are some optional things. Now, the optional things are really there just if you feel that they were not included at all in everything that you submitted. Uh, okay, that, that uh, uh, is mandatory. They will, might not add any points, okay, at all. Uh, just imagine, okay, now that's a basic exercise, okay, you want to do a startup, you, okay, you actually want to care about the people, about other people, okay, so think about the judges, okay, there's going to be around 10, 10 judges in the uh, uh, intermediate stage and about five judges on stage, just think about us, okay, so we receive applications, there's going to be a number of applications, so we need to start understanding what's going on, what do we do first, I receive an application, what's the first thing I'm going to do, okay, what am I going to look at? I said four things are mandatory. What do you think I'm going to look at first? I'm sorry? The team. Yeah. What? The summary. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So I might look at the executive summary. If the deck looks pretty clean, but not a lot of text, I might actually look at the deck also just to get a quick impression. First, I want to just get an impression. Then if it looks interesting, I'm actually going to look at the four things you submitted are mandatory. I'm going to look at them very carefully. 
And then if I still have some open questions, I might look at other things that you submitted. Uh, we might even be in touch with you to ask for more information, okay? If we feel that we need more information, that something looks really promising, but we want to basically get more information, okay? So think about the judges, okay? So everything you submit, you want to submit so that we get the best impression of whatever it is you're doing, okay? Um, again, everything is on the website. Submission is going to be online, of course. Um, that's the website, okay? That's how you do that. Um, so I think we already talked about that. So the semifinals, the finals, I think we said everything here. Uh, the judges, okay? What are we going to look at? So it's fairly classic what you have here, okay? But we're going to judge the team quality. Uh, by the way, you want to tell me what's the team quality? Any idea what's the team quality when we judge that? All-rounded. I'm sorry? All-rounded. All-rounded, that's pretty good, yeah. So we want to see that in the team we have someone, if it's about technology, someone on our side technology, and also the business. Okay, so we want to see a rounded team, yes. That's one thing. What more do we'd like to see in the team? Experience. Experience, yeah. If you have more experience, it's good. I think the teams here... You have some experience, maybe not tons of experience, yes. Experience does matter, yeah. Something that is important with the team, seriously. I'm not sure you can fake that if you don't have it. Chemistry. But <laughs> chemistry, you want to be more specific? Um, like how you and your coworker, well, um, how you work together. Exactly. So one other thing we want is to see if the team has past experience in working together. Okay, now again, you can't fake that. But if they do have experience, okay, they get more points. Why? Because there's a better chance that they might be able to continue working later on together. Uh, so we're going to look at the team. Uh, we look at the opportunity and market size. I think that's fairly obvious. Okay, we want to see that there's some viability to this, uh, that you might have an audience, might have a market. Uh, one strong recommendation when you go about that, don't just give us like the big numbers. Okay, one way to look at that is to say, um, okay, so the whole market is like $10 billion. I'm going to get 1% of that. Therefore, I have a market, right? So you might want to do that exercise as well. The other way, basically, is to show that there is a strong need. Okay, so that's going from not... Uh, for, from it's The first way, first way to do that is going from like the top down. The other way is to actually go bottom up. Okay, uh, you know TED Talks, for example, right? You've seen TED Talks. How do they always start the TED Talks? What do they start with? I'm sorry? Okay, yeah, so they need to give some introduction, a question. That's a good way to start something with a question because you listen. They start with a pain, yes, and? Personal story. Why do they start with a pain and a personal story? So first of all, we connect. It's a very specific person. It looks much more real, okay? It's much more credible. It's not like someone telling us something they read in a book, someone talking about something very specific. Here's a specific person. Wow, I believe the person. And then also what they do later on, they generalize. Okay, so one way to also go about the opportunity in the market and convince us that there is actually an opportunity there, not just to show big numbers, but also to show us that there's a real pain. And there are ways to show the real pain, okay, by telling us specific stories of specific people demonstrating the pain, okay? Uh, we want to see that there is a value proposition. If it's unique, it's better, of course. Uh, it doesn't really have to be very unique sometimes. We know a venture that started and we're doing exactly as someone else, but we're doing that much better or differently or like in the right way. Uh, so we care about that. The business model, yeah, we want to see how you might make money. Again, if you're very early stage, you will say some intelligent things. You might not know the answer, but we need to see that you can talk the language. We need to see that you thought about that, okay? Um, innovation to and, uh, uh, or technology quality, we care about that. The venture does not have to be about technology. However, okay, one of the reasons that we're doing this competition, and I think uh, it's very unique, is actually trying to, to leverage. Uh, everybody here know what leverage is? Um, okay, I'm sorry? Lemanef, okay. And I'm, Okay, people from like exact sciences, for example, do you know what leverage is? Leverage, okay, in business, whenever you have like a, you have a sentence and you miss a verb, you say leverage, okay? In a sense that um, there's something really amazing about the Tel Aviv University, it's big, 
and we actually excel in a lot of different disciplines. Okay, so one thing we'd like to see that emerges from this competition is that it encourages people from different schools to work together. Okay, engineering with management or so forth. Okay, why? The chances then that you create something that's really special are actually a bit higher. Uh, so we care about innovation and technology. It does not have to be about technology. By the way, many of the new startups today are just about social, right? You introduce social into places where it just did not exist. You're creating something new. We need those things to happen. Uh, and then the last thing, of course, is about uh, 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 presentation quality and skills. Now you can say it's just artificial. Well, this is today's world. You will need to always make a pitch, okay? So you might as well do a good job on that, or at least do a reasonable job at that if you're really very bad at doing it, okay? So this is, these are the uh, uh, parameters, and that's for, for the judgment. Um, and then the last thing I want to end before I take questions is actually uh, finding teammates. So we did open a page where you can log in. You can basically look for teammates if you need them. Uh, but I think what I want to do now is actually take some time. Uh, okay, so first I'll take some questions. But then what I want to do is just see who is sitting here, who needs teams, who is looking for, for teammates and so forth. Okay. Um, so we're actually finished with a formal presentation. Uh, questions? Yeah, yeah. About confidentiality. Okay, we do not sign NDAs. No one today signs NDAs. Uh, I'm, I'm exaggerating, but there will be no NDAs. Um, there's in, in the um, if there's a very specific technology, okay, that you really worried about that. Tell us things you can tell us about it. Okay, don't tell us stuff that you cannot tell us about it. If we'll see that there's a special case, then we might want to have a meeting and so forth, but we will not sign an NDA. Okay, I can assure you that. At this point, we're not publishing anything. It's a competition. Okay, so the applications are actually with us. They're not open to anyone except for the judges to look. Uh, when it comes to the final competition, so it's going to be the, the uh, 10 winners will get exposure. If you have an issue with that, you're welcome to explain, and we will read everything. Who are yeah. the judges? I'm sorry? Who are the judges? For the, ju the judges. Uh, we're, we're still ramping up the judges, but uh, some of the judges are going to be Zal Shai, that some of you know. Um, it's going to be uh, Noga Kapp, who has her own uh, venture capital now. Um, it's going to be, I'm sorry, I'm tired. And it's late. Uh, it's going to be uh, uh, Liraz Lasri, it's going to be Ayal Shinhav, Ayal Shinhav, um, Uyad Mon, if you know him. He's an he's expert in, in, the, in the digital space. So these are the judges. Once we close that, we'll also publicize the name of judges. Yeah. You want to suggest your family members? Um, OK, it's fine. No, I'm just fine. Sure. Yeah. Uh, yes, you? Of course, there will be an audience. One of the reasons why we're doing that because we want to get attention as well. So it's going to be a, okay. It's going to be in front of the audience and the judges. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You don't have to have twenty-five thousand dollars. Let me be very straight about that. The the uh, ventures that are relevant for this competition are ventures that either did not raise any money at all or raise money up to $25,000. So you're just perfect if I got your question right. Yeah. 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 Okay, there is an innovation conference of Startow. Uh, this is going to be in the evening. I don't think it's... And they also have a competition. I know, but this is different. I know, and it's not going to be at the same time. Different competitions, you can apply to both of them. Yeah, it's no, no problem. Yeah. How many teammates are you expecting from each of them? Average range. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> Uh, research talks about somewhere between three and four as being like the perfect number. There is no perfect number. You want at least two because one is really very difficult. 
And it can be, you know, you want to have 10, that's fine, but then it's like, you know, running your own kindergarten. So, you know, I think two, three, four, five, it's good. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, sorry, you. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we, I'm not sure if you wrote it already, but it's somewhere around five to six minutes every pitch. It's fairly classical, yeah. And the second question I saw on the, on the dates, on the schedule, that you have a coaching session before the application as well? Like it's while you're doing the application, so you can wait for the coaching session and then, and then apply. The 27th one. Yes. Nothing is nothing. Nothing is mandatory except for the the, the you don't have to participate. Uh, the session is going to be done by uh, Dr. Sean Wise, who's also running the competition. I might take part of that. We might have other people. So we're still actually not clear about exactly what we're going to do there, but we will have the session. Okay. Yeah. So if you have questions, you want to run something by us, it's, you know, it would increase the chances that. You know, we know you better and you understand more, like, better what we are expecting. Yeah. So the team that does decide to take the investment, uh, the university gets 10% uh, of, the, of the company. Yes. Right? Yeah. Uh, how would they decide? Should it be by the potential value of the company? Okay, so the way it works is that... It's a good question, okay? It says if we will give the money and the valuation is going to be this. So that's not going to be something to, that's not going to be negotiable. At least that's, that's where it stands now. So both, so both for a, I don't know, a million dollar company or a billion dollar company? That's kind of where it is now. Um, I would strongly recommend, I mean, that's my, my approach in general. Uh, there's, Always people, if that's a special case, come talk to us. We listen, we're, you know, we're not like uh, red tape stamps. So, yeah. Um, well, uh, not, no, no. Some of the judges are actually non Hebrew speakers, and of course the finals is going to be completely in English, so. Uh, where is Abigail? Is Abigail here? Uh, no, 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 it's fine. We, w we will set some sessions for that. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't set them yet, but there will be some sessions where you can actually come and talk and they can give some initial feedback. Yeah. Um, other questions? Yeah. So this startup is supposed to be based in Israel or it can be outside Israel also? It can be anywhere. Anywhere. Yeah, I'm thinking it's cool. I didn't think about that, but sure, anywhere. and. Almost like I could say, like, you know, the, the, the further the better. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, we just had a question, but we'll have some sessions where people can come and talk yeah, to us be, and consult. There will be sessions okay. with, uh, with Sean. There will be office hours, and we'll obviously publicize them as well, also on the website and on the Facebook group. Yeah. Um, Abigail Stein, she's behind everything. Okay, so the website, uh, dates, everything. Everything doesn't work, please complain to us now. <laughs> Okay, but we'll actually be doing a lot of work together. That is like the first, um, the first time we look at all the applications. Abigail and I are going to do that together. So she's actually um, a very important um, member of our team. Yeah, more questions? Okay, so let me um, just try to figure out, okay, how many of you have like a, a very specific venture that you're considering to, to actually apply with to the competition? Very specific, solid thing. Good. How many are kind of thinking they have something? It's not like, it's not baked enough or they're not quite sure what to do with it. Okay, so you would come and consult us, of course. Uh, how many people here have no ventures but actually are hoping to maybe find a venture, enjoy that venture? Cool, we got like four brave people, five, six, seven very brave people. You want to stand, those who are actually looking for ventures? You? I saw more hands there. Uh, okay, so I'm going to do something very embarrassing, okay? No, 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 stand, stand. Very embarrassing. Um, can I get from each one of you like two sentences about who you are and what you think you're looking for? You start, you look the shyest. <laughs> Interesting. I think I'm not, but okay. okay. Uh, 
my name is Eliotar. I study computer science and uh, management uh, for degree in uh, Tel Aviv. I was actually part of a startup before, and I worked in a tech company as a software engineer. A few fields, and if you have something that's interesting, actually one startup competition one, that's the one I continued with. So, if you have something interesting, and you need a programmer, so talk to Cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, okay. Actually, amazing. How many people you can actually write code? How many people can write code? Unbelievable. Could you play? Did you sign up your names? Like, we don't want you to leave. We don't have enough of people who can write code. Okay, because that's the management school. Everybody comes here because they want to manage something or someone, <laughs> and nobody really wants to do the work. Okay, so amazing. There are actually a lot of people here who write code. Seriously, that's one of the reasons why we're running this competition. Okay, so thank you very much. Um, who else is looking for a team? You're looking for a team? Yeah? Hi, uh, I'm Lisa. Uh, I also currently work in a big startup, but uh, besides that, I'm also studying here in Tel Aviv University in Technology and Information Systems Management. Um, I'm less into like programming and more probably into like soft skills, like languages. And um, I, I don't know, I just maybe as a part as a female, I would like to really be a part of something that is a bit bigger than just being a small uh, member of a big company. I want to be a big member of a small company and uh, that's what I'm looking for. So again, if somebody is looking for uh, some soft skills, uh, I have enough. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you. Um, yeah. I saw like two or three more people. You? Yeah. Uh, hi, I'm, I'm Andy. I'm an MBA student here. I have a bachelor's in biomedical engineering and a master in electrical engineering from the Technion. I have a background in medical devices, algorithm, data science. I also did a one year uh, business development at Promote. So I'm kind of looking for stuff that are uh, more high-level technology, algorithms, data science, the combination of product and business. Amazing. All right. Thank you. Okay. I saw two more hands when I asked the question first, but I remember so you can hide if you don't want to. It's going to increase your chances of finding a team, you know, if you speak. Uh, you? No? Sorry? Okay. Um, okay, any other questions? Uh, yes? Uh, we, as founders, have spent more than $25,000. Is it, is it all right? Yeah. 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 Sure. Um, if a specific team, basically from their own funding, uh, spend more than $25,000, they're eligible for the competition. Sure. They are. Um, okay, so uh, before we finish again, if some teams are looking for people to join, so we had three, we had two people, three people, okay, suggesting that they actually have some very useful skills, so you're welcome to stay. Um, Maybe it's the time to mention the Facebook group. Have you guys, uh, are you guys sure. aware that we have a Facebook group for the competition, which is also run by the guy, by the way? Uh, it's a close group, um, it's, uh, and, uh, and there you guys can also, let's say if you're looking for a team, you can introduce yourself there, um, or if you're a team looking for someone with specific skills, you can also um, publicize it there as well. Okay, so this is the group, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so they have to, I mean, do we have to approve them? Yeah, just, you know, say that you want to join, I'll approve you. Um, we'll also be posting updates there as well, so if you're sure that you're going to be part of the competition, it's good to join the group. Okay, so take a picture of that. Um, okay, so I think we're kind of done for tonight. Uh, you're welcome to stay if you have more questions, and uh, good luck there to all of us. And see you around. So yeah? On the second floor, um, there's refreshments and beer. So oh. join us. It's not mandatory, but you can join us. Sure. Okay.